What's happening? I don't know. Unless... Uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... <laughs> when did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. Oh, shit. Hey, everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Back to the Future of the Game. Don't shoot What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. It was nothing, Officer Parker. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. Where are the keys? What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning! <laughs> That's like... so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. I just need what those keys. Some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Huh. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. Can I get on Yeah, from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Now I'm sure something's back there. I wouldn't be surprised. Grandfather, I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. What was that? Now we gotta go save our dad. Oh no, our grandpa. We already saved her dad in the movies. Four fifty-five. Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I got to do is get to him before. Mr. Corleone. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Um, my future kind of depends on it. My grandpa's uh, on jury duty, and I have to get him his medicine. Oh, well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! ah! 
Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? No, 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 no. Stay, stay right there. S sit, sit, Einstein, sit. Sit, Einy, sit. Crap. Einstein. Is it a squirrel, Einy? Damn it, past party, let any squirrels go away. You wanna play? <laughs> okay, let's play. Um throw to Emmett. Throw it at the gazebo. What are you up to, Einy? Oh, I can throw it at Edna. Go get her, Einy. You oh, get this mangy animal away from me! Come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Einstein, no. Way to go, Einy. Now to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Ah, ah. Hey. Oh God. Um. Hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm just fading out of direction. Uh, I'm just fading in and out. Uh, Arthur needs uh, help. He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Oh, hell. Oh, my God! What the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. I love how they reference the old movies with stuff. Uh, Zane the goon. Uh, I gotta go rescue Grandpa. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Marty. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Marty McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Dang it, cue ball. I ate your soup. I helped you with it. Artie? Uh -huh. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Quickly to the soup kitchen. Don't say that a lot. <laughs> Hold on, Grandpa, I'm coming. Don't say that a lot either. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. I'll save you, Grandpa. I have to, because otherwise then there's no Christmas presents. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Don't hurt him. Body. How's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. 
Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram! <sighs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking, bringing this fish food to my doorstep? We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. I, I better get in there quick. That does not bode well. We gotta get in there and save Grandpa. We're gonna save that for next episode, though. Thank you for watching, everybody.